Hello guys. Uh, hello guys. Uh, so now we shall be discussing regarding the pelvic floor. Okay. So what are the muscles that form the pelvic floor and all? So a topic of discussion would be regarding the pelvic floor. So first of all, uh, before I discuss pelvic floor, one very important thing you need to know that this picture you should be aware of this picture. So this is your pelvic floor. So if to clear it out, to clear it out. Uh, what is the exact pelvic floor you can see this animation over here right so in this animation whatever you can see this is the anterior part right so le let me zoom this pelvis here this is from the anterior side now what I am doing is that I am just rotating this I want you to look at this pelvis from the bottom so if you are looking at the pelvis from the bottom over here you see if you are looking at the pelvis from the bottom part this is how the pelvis looks from the bottom right so all the muscles which are present over here they form the pelvic floor now in the pelvis you see two separate openings one large opening another one is small opening the large opening is called as a urogenital uh, opening and the smaller one is called as the anal opening okay urogenital opening is mainly for the passing of uh, urine and urination and all and the anal triangle is mainly for defecation so let us look at those things so that is the same picture almost right so here you can see two important um, openings so this one is called as the urogenital hiatus this hiatus is called as a urogenital hiatus and this opening over here is called as your rectal hiatus but before I tell you about urogenital hiatus and rectal hiatus, one very important thing I want to tell you over here. What is that important thing is that, so you see there is four, there are four green color dots over here. You see here there is one green color dot, right? This is the second one, this is the third and this is the fourth. So what are these are? These are actually the landmarks. So the first uh, dot which you can see there, uh, the first important dot which you can see over here, right? So this is the pubic symphysis, right? And next, what is this? This is called as your tuberosity. What tuberosity? This is called as your ischial tuberosity. And back here, this is called as the tip of your coccyx. So let me duplicate this picture so that it would be easy for you to name these structures once again. So if you look at uh, this particular picture once again, right? So these are the four important things I told you. What are these four important things? This is called as your pubic symphysis. Pubic symphysis. And these two points on either side are called as your ischial tuberosity. Ischial tuberosities. And back here, this is called as your tip of coccyx. This is called as your tip of coccyx. Now let me join all these four lines over here. So when you join all these four lines, you will understand the important thing. So after joining all these four lines, you see a uh, complete cavity like thing, right? So this entire area, whatever I have drawn just now is called as perineum. Now what I'm trying to tell you is that draw an imaginary line touching these two lines like this. It means I have actually divided the perineum into two triangles the upper triangle and the lower triangle the upper triangle is this triangle over here is called as urogenital triangle and the lower triangle this one is called as an anal triangle so there are two important triangles the upper triangle is called as your uro genital triangle and the lower triangle is over here called as your anal triangle so there are two important triangles one is called as your urogenital triangle and the other one is called as your anal triangle urogenital triangle is having what sinus it is having urogenital sinus so it is having what urogenital hiatus or sinus urogenital hiatus or sinus and the anal triangle is having this particular sinus called as a rectal hiatus or sinus rectal hiatus or called as your rectal sinus so these are the two important things which you can see now apart from this apart from this another important thing i want to tell you i will come back to these two important pictures later on but another important thing i want to tell you is that what are the muscles that are actually forming the pelvic floor 
Our topic is pelvic floor. So we should discuss what are the muscles that are forming the pelvic floor. So what are the muscles that form the pelvic floor? First of all, you need to know. First of all, you need to know one very important thing that pelvic floor is funnel shaped. Pelvic floor is what? Pelvic floor is which shaped? Pelvic floor is funnel shaped structure. Okay. Now in this funnel shaped structure called as pelvic floor, what are the important structures which you would see? The first important structure which you would see is that you would see muscles. What are the muscles you would see? One is called as levator ani muscle. One is called as levator ani muscles. Okay. Second important thing which you would see is the coccygeus muscle. Coccygeus muscle. And third important thing is that covering these muscles, there should be fascia also. So fascia that is covering these muscles. Fascia covering these muscles. Three important things you can see over here. One is called as your levator ani muscles. The second important thing is your coccygeus, and the third important thing is your the fascia that is covering these muscles over here, right? So in this picture, I will later on show you the 3D animation also. But before that, in this picture, you should understand three important things. What are those three important things? The first is levator ani muscles. So what are the levator ani muscles over here? You can see very clearly. First of all, let us look at two important hiatus. See, you see uh, the vaginal hiatus as well as the vaginal colon and backside. You have got this rectal hiatus. Now, here you see three more important muscles. One is called puborectalis, pubococcygeus, and iliococcygeus. Right? So, you see, first layer we have got pubococcygeus, like this, that red one. Surrounding that red one, we have got this green one called as pubococcygeus. Right? Surrounding that green one, we have got this yellow one called as iliococcygeus. So, first you see puborectalis, surrounding that pubococcygeus, surrounding that there is iliococcygeus. So all these three muscles together, you call them as levator ani muscles. All these three muscles together, you call it as levator ani. Levator ani muscles and second muscle, what is that? Coccygeus. So what are the muscles I've written here? Levator ani muscles and coccygeus. So these two muscles form what? The pelvic floor. And obviously covering these muscles, there will be fascia also. So first we will discuss one by one. So the first, I will show you the muscles first and then uh, let us get back to the each and every individual muscle, right? In this particular model, which you can see over here, the first important muscle, what we shall discuss is the puborectalis muscle. So where is this puborectalis? I have to not zoom inside, rather, yeah, in this particular view, in this particular view, you can look at the puborectalis muscle. Okay. Right. Now, here if you see, where is puborectalis? See, this muscle which you can see on the side. Right. So, this particular muscle which you can see on the left side and this particular muscle which you can see on the right side, this is called as your puborectalis muscle. So, puborectalis and puborectalis. Right puborectalis and this one is left puborectalis. Surrounding the puborectalis, what, what will be the muscles I told you? Pubococcygeus. So, this is pubococcygeus and surrounding this, this is another pubococcygeus. Right? Surrounding this pubococcygeus, next muscle which you have, what is that? That is called as your iliococcygeus. See, this is one iliococcygeus, this is another iliococcygeus. For example, if I draw the structures over here, you would very clearly understand what are the important things here. So, just look at the structures over here. For example, see this particular muscle on either side, right? So this particular muscle is muscle number one. This muscle number one is called as puborectalis. And after that, let me draw another muscle over here, here as well as here. Okay. So this is, let us say, muscle number two. This muscle number two is called as your pubococcygeus muscle. Next important thing is 
this particular muzzle over here so this particular muzzle which you can see over here is muzzle number three this is called as what your iliocoxygia so all these three muzzles are like a leaf so one is here next is here next is here right so all these three muscles together you call it as levator ani muscles now after discussing this uh, levator ani muscles i also promise to tell you where is the last muscle that is coccygeus so for coccygeus you need to little more bend this picture all the way right if you are bending like this you see these two muscles here left coccygeus as well as right coccygeus okay so let me show it to you from the front now from the anterior view from the anterior view let us look at the structures now so let us look at the structures from the anterior view so from the anterior view also you can see right so from the top from the top you can see look at these structures over here from the top you see this muscle is puborectalis this is puborectalis side to this you have got this is called as pubococcygeus and next this is called as right iliococcygeus left iliococcygeus next this is called as right coccygeus and this is called as your left coccygeus so these are the muscles which you could see from the sides as well right so these are some of the very important structures which you have to uh, just figure it out over here so these uh, are the muscles like this right so all these muscles together they form what they form the pelvic floor so these are the muscles which you could see now we shall individually discuss about each and every muscle so the same pictures i have put it here you see this uh, sunburn yellow color shade over here what is this muscle this muscle i have already told you that is the first muscle that is your pubo rectalis pubo rectalis if i discuss about the origin and insertion what will you tell see it is originating from here the tip of the pubic bone right and this goes all the way like this all the way and from the other side it is going and attaching to the same tip clear so it is attached on the back of your pubic bones posterior surface of your pubic bone and it is inserting onto the posterior surface of the pubic bone on the other side right you call it as contralaterally not on the same side right for example uh, let me draw like this this is one pubic bone this is another pubic bone like this let us say just for an example this is one and see this is another pubic bone like this okay right now what i'm telling you is that this muscle originates from one end of the pubic bone so this muscle comes all the way like this and goes and attaches to the other end of the pubic bone in this way you see how this muscle is going and attaching right so this muscle this is a muscle that is coming all the way like this and it is going and attaching to the other side okay so this particular muscle over here is called as your puborectalis muscle so the origin and insertion origin is the posterior posterior surface of the pubis to posterior surface of pubis on other side posterior surface of the pubis on the other side okay so this is one of the important thing now next important thing here is that this same muscle i want you to look in this particular picture now in this particular picture you see this particular bone over here is called as your pubic bone this is your pubic bone over here and where is your rectum yes so let me draw the borderline of rectum like this and later on let me highlight it so this particular muscle which you can see over here is your rectum over here right so let me highlight this part you see this muscle over here right so this particular muscle over here is called as your rectum this is called as your rectum and you see 
how this particular muscle which is called as your puborectalis you see this particular muscle is your puborectalis muscle this puborectalis what it is doing this puborectalis is completely hugging the rectum so once this muscle will contract don't you think it is pulling the rectum anteriorly will it pull the rectum front anteriorly yes or no right so if i ask you what is the action of the puborectalis puborectalis one side it is attaching to the pubic bone right and it goes all the way surrounds or slings around the rectum and attaches to the other part of the pubic bone when this muscle is contracting the rectum which is in the center is pulled forward that is the function of your puborectalis muscle okay so that is your puborectalis next after the puborectalis is done after the puborectalis is done let us look at uh, this particular nerve innervation what is the innervation of this puborectalis so what is the nerve that is innervating to puborectalis that is called as nerve to levator ani and pudendal nerve two nerves one is nerve to levator ani and pudendal nerve these are the two important nerves over here so nerve to levator ani and pudendal nerve now the next important muscle what is the next important muscle next important muscle is your pubococcygeus so not only not only your pubococcygeus even your iliococcygeus also it means puborectalis pubococcygeus and iliococcygeus all of them three are called as your levator ani muscles right so all these three are having a same innervation that is nerve to levator ani and the pudendal nerve the same nerve okay there is no change in the nerve now next important thing is that the last muscle which we have to know here is that coccygeus right so coccygeus alone has got a different nerve supply that the the coccygeus the nerves that are coming to this coccygeus are are from the anterior rami of s4 as well as s5 from the anterior rami of s4 as well as s5 okay from the anterior rami of s4 and s5 uh, you see this coccygeus that is coming all the way okay so anterior rami of s4 as well as s5 from here you see the coccygeus that is coming out okay now second important thing let us look at the blood supply let us look at the blood supply now coming to the blood supply there are three important arteries what are the three important arteries one is called as the inferior vesical artery okay next artery is called as the inferior gluteal artery and third one is called as your pudendal artery so what are the three arteries here that are supplying to these muscles over here one is called as the inferior vesical artery next is called as the inferior gluteal artery as well as your pudendal artery okay and what is this particular muscle just an exam point of view just this particular muscle just to test your knowledge what is this this is called as your pubococcygeus right so all of you know that this particular muscle over here which have highlighted like this is called as your pubo coccygeus muscle okay so this is all uh, you need to know regarding the pelvic floor guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye